All right, all right, hello everyone. So, I'm doing something a little bit different. I don't normally do the nighttime readings, so the ambiance is a little different. It's, I don't know, just trying something new. Um, I have no clue where it's gonna go to, but I'm gonna grab some of the tea leaves. And actually the magical times underneath there. Oh, okay, the dragons, dignity. So I apologize, I'm gonna see how the lighting is with this. I know there's reflection, um, but anyways, take pride in yourself and all that you have become. Feel honored by your choices, achievements, and actions. So dignity's underneath there. And elegance, swan. Hmm. It is found in the beauty of nature. The lotus waiting to bloom. Be the swan on the water and glide. All right. Dignity and elegance. And those are your two words. The words of the day. All right. I was having some fun actually with dancing. A new one. Oh, it's called Around the World. I'm trying to a little more class, something. I'm trying to remember the name, it's a new one. But it's all la, 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 la. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> okay, I might just put it in like the description or something if you wanna check out the link for that. But then taco, I'm putting on the Ritz. <laughs> and then scat man. <sighs> okay, oh my gosh, it was funny. Rhythm is a dancer. Snap. All right. All just for fun, right? That's why I'm doing this. Okay, confidence. All right, there's your next word. Be bold. Rise up and stand tall. Feel the fire in your soul. All right, that fire energy. Okay, and then quest. Okay, I'm gonna call out Sagittarius. Um, Libras, a lot of Sagittarius though, maybe Libra and Sagittarius uh, together or in your chart, but the bold, maybe even some Leo, be bold and mighty forces will aid you, take action, good luck favors the brave, maybe a little bit of water, but it's time to take this action, have confidence, all right, um, the weirdest thing, so a lot of the other readings talked about traveling to the ocean and things like that and or the beach or near water and I find it interesting I mean it's almost it, it's so easy to predict it to be honest like look it's the time of the season it was like wanting to go outside and but the cards say it too so whatever but um <laughs> this time it might be about the desert going to the desert it was very interesting so there's a song by system of down called uh b-y-o-b -B. and it's like everybody's coming to the party <laughs> where the fuck are you where the fuck are you <laughs> where the fuck are you so people wondering where you are they're going to a party in the desert maybe even a little America and spin through the desert on a horse with no name. Humor. Laugh at yourself. Lighten your heart. Let nothing steal your happiness. That's what I'm doing. Laughing it all off. All right. The yogi one says, one who brings happiness to others will find it. Right? Don't let anything steal your happiness. And the one who brings this playfulness, the humor, even laughing at yourself. Wow. And then the cycles. Okay. We are all becoming surrender to your changes. Release your fear. Trust this powerful process. Wow. This is overcoming the fear. Going out on a quest, being bold, having confidence. All right. One more. These are good. <laughs> They're always good. These are lovely. Okay, I said one more and three all came out. So seven, apparently. The sevens, that inner transformation, overcoming even adversity. Okay, um, Leos, Cancers, 
um, even maybe scorpionic and all the other signs, okay? See the gifts in challenge. One can be taught within the calm, but the greatest lessons are learned from the storms. You see how this is still the joy and laughter happening too. Hmm. Okay, even like, saw you, your fifth house might be um, scorpionic or cancer or Pisces. Looking for clarity. Banish the fog of illusion. Open your eyes to the truth. Remember the perfection of who you are. Getting that clarity a lot with the dragons. Mm. And mercy. Mercy. Mm. Banish the fog of illusion. So kind of even some Pisces. Mm. Maybe. Mm. Mercy. Like compassion, fill your world. Offer kindness. To all living things, what you give, you will also receive. This is even, you reap what you sow, right? And mercy. Hmm. I'm calling for mercy. There, there's the song by the Staple Singers. I, I love that song too. I'll take you there. There's a place. Play your piano now. So... That one song that I, it's all about the music. The music is a key to or something, right? And reading. Oh, maybe get reading the music. Hmm. The lyrics even or something. Getting clarity. Mercy. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's it. The sevens. Oh, and the eight. Kindness and mercy. So double kindness, double mercy. Live with compassion. Open your heart to all life forms. Be an angel with hands. Kindness. I love these cards. I really do. Very beautiful and uplifting messages. Compassion, mercy, clarity. Uh, laughing uh, at your own self. Understanding processes. Overcoming fears. Challenges. Getting clarity. Taking that quest, action, um, travel, higher learning, inner transformation happened first, and then friendship. Wow, the unicorns. Be with the ones who make you shine, who love you and really care. Keep those and let the others go. Okay, even Sag. Sometimes, okay, this might even be that there's some friends that you can that you met from college or something, you know, or like after after high school people, <laughs> um, new people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's the nine, even. Hmm. that you yeah you travel with um they might even kind of be long distance i'm gonna look under there a union with friends the dragon again and the unicorn you have seen and unseen allies draw upon their strength and join forces with friends and flourish so i think there's libra and leo i really sense a lot of libra and leo Cancer, possibly Pisces, and Sagittarius, okay? The Dreamer. Yeah, I just saw Pisces. No way, okay. Ten. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, eight. This kindness even with the Scorpionic type issues. Transformation. Be an angel with these type of things. Friendship even, maybe even that you've met at work, okay? Capricorns, maybe even too, okay? And possibly Aquarius. Now we're going to pull in like basically all the signs. Hmm. They're cusp too. And then the final one was the Pisces, like the 12. A dreamer. 
So it's almost like you're in Aries rising and it almost is a flow through. I don't, I mean, I'm just throwing that out. It doesn't have to be that at all. The quest though. Mm. I don't, there's not much Taurus in this. I don't sense it or see it with this particular video, but hey, whatever. All right, let's see. How is it look? You guys can't even see him. I apologize for that glare i'm just trying this out i probably won't do it again or i'll fix the lighting you know you gotta tweak things right so that's all about trial and error <laughs> sunrise getting up early okay i found out that literally you got to get up before the sunrise to see the amazing sunrise does that make sense like the spectacular colors like you gotta get up before six o'clock in the morning New creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. New. The sun rays. All right, and then going on this quest, being bold. Libra, even. Balance, partnership, friends. Um, you know, and this quest, Sagittarius, keep your life in balance. Be bold. Take action. Mm. And the humor. Oh. Even about a two-faced friend. Gossip. Cat. I wouldn't see the little kitty cat right there. Meow. Meow, kitty. Ooh. I find humor in it. Or whatever. You know what I mean? I'm going to see what else. I know sometimes that can be upsetting, but laughing about it will help you bring peace. Look. Understanding this cycle and process, we are all becoming and surrender to your changes, overcoming fear, peace and serenity, wind chimes. It's like the winds of change even, like scorpion, the scorpions, okay? And then over here, this adversity is all rocky like a hurricane, right? And through the storm, <laughs> you, the challenge, even the valley, Wow, this deep personal strength and peace that assures success, even overcoming adversity. See the gifts in the challenge. That helps even develop this deep personal strength and finding peace that you can overcome and get the clarity, right? Um, open your eyes to the truth. Remember the perfection of you, who you are. Get the clarity. Mm. Even so, there might have been some trouble or some accusations. Feeling like someone threw someone in the pan. Maybe that was part of this challenge. The gossip. A two-faced friend. Someone making accusations. And that shows you the clarity. Gives you the clarity. Sometimes they just project their own stuff. They're not your friend. I think that that might be you're finding out something about the friendship. I got this like strawberry shortcake thing going on. Friendships grow like a flower. Something like that. Love those, right? Keep those and let the others go. The ones who really make you shine and care and love for you. So these ones are the ones that aren't your friends. I'm not your friend or anything. Damn, you think that you're the man. I think therefore I am. That's Billie Eilish. I like that song. Mm. There's another one by Nirvana. I know you're right. Or you know you're right. And it's about like staying away from someone. Even, uh, don't try and chase relationships, but try and find mercy and compassion because we're all human beings. We make mistakes and focus on getting back to the basics of compassion, love, mercy, forgiveness, even the back to the basics of your own self too. focused on your health, your well-being your details for your life, your work, your chores, whatever, but being merciful, even with yourself. 
Mm. Okay. Getting back to the basics. Wow. Spiritual enlightenment, development, understanding, awareness, even that clarity about this is growth, kindness, that and being an angel. Live with compassion. The fire. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's in Scorpionic. This deep, your eighth house is there's a deep spiritual development with sex, death, birth, the occult, taboo issues in life that, that are very transformative. And being compassionate for some of those uh, things that people don't want to talk about that are, um, I don't know. I mean, they're not, not all of them are bad at all. Don't get me wrong. It's just uh, mm, all of those things that have deep transformational things that happen. It's when you know when birth happens it transforms your life when death happens it transforms your life um and so we can digging into some of these darker issues in the world and shining a light on them so that they can be healed with love and compassion i don't even know that's some crazy dark stuff <laughs> That takes a that takes a really that's some deep strength for sure, personal strength and peace. To yeah, a new role, hat, the union even having unseen and seen friends, like you have friends and guidance, like even like you know what I mean. There's this unseen realm of angels, you know what. Um, with this spiritual awareness you'll be playing a different role in this situation it's like an upgrade <laughs> an upgrade okay now if the friendship unicorn no way you got three unicorns I'm all unicorn unicorn this is the only like unicorn out of like all of these and I pulled it right with this one Use your intuition to make beneficial changes in your friend's zone, your friendship. That's like even online friendship, right? Social networking, Aquarius. Partnership and seventh house can be partners and friends too, but they're more committed sometimes. So... And they're more with you face to face. Like there's someone that's going to actually, you know, you can have the friends online, but you're never like going to get in the car and go for a trip with them or go do the little things, go grocery shopping or go to go out shopping spa day or pedicures, whatever. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Be with the ones who make you shine. So... Find those. And that is it. Thank you. Bye-bye.